One of the world's most dazzling destinations, Brazil is packed with steamy rainforests, tropical savannas, wetlands, and exciting cities. The ecosystems found in this giant of South America are home to the largest collection of plant and animal species found anywhere in the world. But even nature is not in the top of your list, plenty of life can be found in the country's musical metropolises too. For relaxing, Brazil has sand to spare. With over 2,095 beaches to be precise, dotting its over 7,000 kilometer Atlantic coastline. With such a huge country and a variety of things to do, planning an itinerary here can feel overwhelming. Here are the best places to visit in Brazil and keep an eye out to see which tourist attraction tells you that you're in Brazil. Number 1. Ouro Preto and the Colonial Mines of Minas Gerais Ouro Preto, meaning black gold in Minas Gerais, was a prime example of colonial opulence and the epicenter of Brazil's 18th century gold rush. Nearly two dozen churches, extravagantly ornamented with gold filigree, still ring out their bells across the mountainsides of this rural town, which at its peak was home to 110,000, a vast bulk of whom had been enslaved people. Their sculptor, Aladino, was explored European Baroque traditions and created his own distinctive style, was one of Oro Preto's most well-known residents. Churches around the region, including those in Tiradentes, Congojas, and Sojo Re, display the sculptures and reliefs, some of which are carved after contracting a sickness that caused him to lose his fingers. Most of these towns are connected by the ancient royal road, which makes for an exciting drive. The world's biggest open-air contemporary art museum, Inhontim, is close by and a must-see for art enthusiasts. Number 2. Parati and the Saco de Mamangua Some of other destinations of Royal Road, Beachside Parati, was where gold and silver derived from Minas Gerais was shipped out in the early days of Brazil's gold rush. This same town lost a portion of its export trade to Rio de Janeiro in the early 1700s, yet its colonial charm has been impeccably preserved. But also, what's even more spectacular for being wedged between steep, wilderness mountains and the warm, clear waters of the ocean. For centuries, Parati was a backwater, but in recent years, it has drawn writers and artists from all over the world. Numerous prestigious events are held in the city, such as Flip Literary Festival, the Jazz Festival, and the Pinga Festival, which serves as an excuse to consume copious amounts of cachaca, the Brazilian cane spirit made in the area. Getting out onto the water to explore a son of Parati's 65 islands and 300 beaches is a must. Motorboats and sailboats can be rented, but for a nearby encounter with nature, join a kayak tour in the Saco de Mamangua, a tropical fjord, and paddle to desolate beaches, mangrove swamps, rivers, and kakara fishing communities. Number 3. Amazon Rainforest Explorers have been drawn to the Amazon by its alluring mystery for centuries. One of the wildest locations on Earth, the territory encompasses portions of eight bordering nations in addition to 42% of Brazil, making it virtually impossible to fathom. Each location offers something different in terms of nature, tourism, and local culture. Completing your study before coming is crucial as it is neither cheap nor an easy-to-reach destination. As you fly into Manaus, the region's largest city, and a good starting point for many of the lodges and Amazon jungle experiences, you can gaze at the endless expanse of green for hours. Try kayaking through flooded woods of the Anahalvas National Park, or farther away to see the recently established Zizua Reserve, or visiting the Memerura Reserve to see river dolphins. A few hundred kilometers east, Santarum is another entry port for witnessing the towering trees deep in the Tapajos forest or beaches hopping along the banks of the Arapunes River, a branch of the Tapajos River near Aldo de Chao. Number 4. Jalapao In a country overflowing with tropical forests, beautiful beaches, as well as other natural wonders, the tropical savanna rural areas of the Cerrado certainly hold their own. While the Cerrado has bore the brunt of Brazil's agricultural growth in recent decades, pockets of protection do survive. Notably, the relatively unknown Yarapau State Park. 34,000 square kilometers of scrubland, grasslands, woodland, caverns, and strange rock formations. The greatest time to visit is the dry season. Despite the barren scenery, water is a major attraction. Swim in the so-called fervendures, natural springs where the bubbling water buoys swimmers, or splash around the clear pools of waterfalls and rapids, Chapada and the sand dunes are both fantastic trekking destinations. 
Chapada dos Vireos National Park and Imas National Park are two considerably bigger conservation areas that are home to hundreds of species of flora and wildlife at risk of extinction. Fortunate hikers can perhaps cross paths with giant anteaters, giant armadillos, maned wolves, and rias, South America's largest bird. Number 5. Brasilia the city of the future that's constantly locked in the past, Brasilia is a magnificent paradox. The federal capital formally opened its doors in 1960 and became the absolute epitome of modernity and urbanizing nation and a long hoped for kickstart for the economic development of the country's interior. Brasilia, which was constructed in the middle of the hot, arid region of Brazil's center west, stands at an outdoor memorial to those who designed and constructed it, including Oscar Niemeyer, an urban planner, Lucio Costa. The huge metropolis was planned for vehicles, not pedestrians, yet thousands of tons of concrete and steel were poured into a number of modernist architectural marvels that are worth spending a day or two exploring. Niermeyer's much loved curves and can be observed everywhere, most notably in the Metropolitan Cathedral, with its white columns towering up to the skies in a hyperboloid structure adorned with stained glass. Number 6. The Pantanal. The Pantanal, the largest wetland area of the world, is the best place in Brazil to see wildlife. More than 230 fish species, 650 bird species, the biggest bird and mammal in South America, as well as apex predators like jaguars, caimans, and anacondas all call the Pantanal home. Spanning an area more than half the size of France, the Pantanal can be explored in a number of different ways. The Estrada Transpantanera is a route that makes most accessible by car, but remote areas and upscale lodges can be reached by small planes and motorboats. The dry season, from May to September, makes it easier to see wildlife. However, as water levels rise from October onward, rivers flood their banks and saturate the nearby plains, bringing an abundance of flora and flocks of wading birds. River cruises also start to appear during the wet season, and the sun deck of a 15-cabin boat cruise to the Serra de Amor mountains close to the Bolivian border is just a great place to take the grandeur in the, of this area. Number 7. Rio de Janeiro Considered the most visited city in Brazil, Rio de Janeiro is also labeled as Cidade Maravilhosa, or the Marvelous City. It is the most beautiful spot in the world in the opinion of the Caraca and it would be difficult for visitors to disagree. Dense high-rises are stacked like sugar cubes between mountains cloaked in the rainforest and studded with naked granite peaks jutting skywards. Tourists hit the highly famous beach to sit in the sun, however, the locals go there to get active, doing parasailing, jogging, biking, or diving into the sand over a sweaty game of beach volleyball. People watching is a major beach activity in its own right, and as dust falls, Rio's own brand of tropical rhythms entices people to take to the streets to join spontaneous street parties or meet up with their friends at botecos. You'll also uncover a richness of culture and history since the town was in the late 19th century the capital of the Kingdom of Portugal, then until 1960 the capital of Brazil. Number 8. Fernando de Noronha a 200 mile off the northeast coast archipelago of islands known as Fernando de Noronha is a popular honeymoon destination. Of Noronha's 21 islands, only the largest one is accessible to tourists, and even then, its limits lay securely within Brazil's second largest marine park. Dreamy beaches, including Baja de Sancho and Baia dos Porcos, Plus, Paria de Leo, all vying for top place on the list of the greatest beaches in the country. If this location were on the mainland, if this location were on the mainland, tourists would swarm here to enjoy the soft, silky sands and crystal clear waters. Fortunately, its isolation and a limit on visitors keep the crowds to a welcome minimum. Noroha, an underwater paradise just off the coast, is home to 230 different species of fish. 15 different types of coral, 5 different shark species, and the greatest number of tropical marine birds in the Atlantic. Before snorkeling in shallow tidal pools, you may observe hundreds of dolphins doing water acrobatics while diving to find coral and shipwrecks in the marine park. Noronha offers Brazil's natural beauty as its absolute best, and its place warrants going the extra mile. Number 9. Ribera Valley and the Atlantic Forest Second only to the Amazon forest, the Mata Atlantic forest is Brazil's other tropical forest. 
Unfortunately, it is considered one of the most endangered biomes in the world, with just 12.5% of it still remaining in desperate fragments along Brazil's southeast facing coastline. Brimming with vibrant life, the forest has a wide array of flora and fauna just like the Amazon, and the good thing is that about half of its animals are not found anywhere else in the world. So for tourists who may think that the Amazon is too big of a deal to you, this hidden gem is an easy reach of Brazil's largest cities. There's also the Ribeira Valley, which is close to Sao Paulo and is home to the largest remaining Atlantic forest. With this, visitors can explore and visit some of the largest caves in Brazil, and stay the night at some traditional houses, hike through the forest, and even go fishing. Personal reserves like these allow for a large range of ecotourism activities. Number 10. Sao Paulo Certainly not the least on our list is South America's most populous city. Now, Sao Paulo might not have a lot of beaches or the luscious forest or clean rivers that we've been bombarding you with, but it has plenty of that local charm we're looking for. A megalopolis with 20 million residents, it's a city that does not sleep, full of young professionals and locals who are constantly restless. In this city, you'll find all of Brazil's culture packed under one area, from the street food to the world-class chefs to the street art and numerous museums. Sao Paulo attracts people from all over the world, and I'm sure it'll do the same to you. Brazil is a country with a vibrant culture, a plethora of activities to do, and an ambience that will make you dance. Which of these places would you love to visit first? Also, check out this other video if you want to go to Azerbaijan. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our top 10 prime picks.